Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see how to get user input from the console and then how to convert the user input to numeric format. Numeric format conversions. Okay. You have to first import java.io.console. C is capital. So once you import this, we need to create an object of this console class. Console class, I am creating an object called C system.console. Like we have system.out.println, we have system.console as one of the methods, which will take that console as, as a primary input and output uh, device. It says type an integer. Then, to read a line from the console, you need to say c dot read line. This returns a string which is read as a line, the number of characters, and then finally ended by your carriage return or the enter key. Then I just print that value. Now let us go ahead and then <coughs> compile this. So Java, Java 18. It says type an integer. The cursor is waiting here to get the user's input. Now I'm typing 134. It got it. Okay. Now let me execute it again. This time I'm going to give a string. Now I say, though it is asking for integer, I type hello. It treats it as a string. So whether you type 134 as a number or HLLO as a string, it doesn't matter for the console. It treats everything as a string. So your output or this returns a string, so I store it in the string. Now, I want to get an integer and then do some arithmetic operations on it. Suppose I try to do like this. <coughs> Let us do one thing. I say system dot out dot println. Then I got this s yes plus 10. Let us try to do what happens. I am trying to compile this. I am trying to do an arithmetic operation for the number that I enter through this console. I compile it. I enter. Now I type 12. It says 1210. What I was expecting is 12 plus 10 as 22. So look at this statement. This says yes plus 10. I entered a 12. My intention was 12 plus 10 to get 22, but when it printed over here, it printed 1210. This means it treated S as a string. This plus acted as a concatenation operator. It printed 1210 as a string. So how do I get numbers from the console and then convert them from string to numbers? Let us see that. Now, look at this. I have got a number from the line as a string. Then I use this command integer dot parse int and then I pass that string. Then this returns the integer part of the string and then it is stored in this variable. Once I have it in this integer variable, I can do the arithmetic. So let us execute this what happens. Now you see it's asking me an integer. I type 23. I type 23. 23 plus 10 is 33. Previously, it used to print 2310 as a string. Now, it treated this 23 as a number because we use this parse int. Then, it stored that integer value in an integer variable. We are able to do arithmetic operations on the string. The same way, we can do on a particular floating variable also. Let us try that. I have created another set of statements to type a float number. So, it reads the floating number with decimal point from the command prompt. Then, like I have used integer.parseInt, I have used float.parseFloat. P is lowercase, F is uppercase. Then I pass that string. Then, to make sure that my arithmetic operation is correct, I get that F, then I am adding 100 with that. So, the suffix F here is not the variable. It is to denote that it is a floating point number. If you do not specify anything here, it treats it as double. So, I specifically said add 100.0 as a floating point number. Let us compile this and then execute it. 
So first it is asking me an integer, I type 34. It reads 34 as a number and then adds 10 to that. Now I, I say 23.567. When I got this floating point number with decimal point, I added 100 to that, so it becomes 123.567. So you can use parse long, etc. Like we have used integer and float, you can also use the parse functions for other long and double and other variable types of integer or numeric types also. So in this session, we have seen how to get user input through console, how to convert those strings to integers or floating point numbers and then do arithmetic operations. Thank you.